Are you listening to what I'm saying? Every man in life has got a star. A starless man is a useless man. Once you are created on earth, you have a star. God said to Abraham in Genesis twenty two seventeen, He said, "Thy seed in blessing I will bless you." Genesis twenty two seventeen, and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and the sand upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates. There is a star of your life, and I'm going to explain what the star represents and what the star means, because in life, and that is why we have a problem. You see, a lot of people have no understanding of the functionalities of life itself. Numbers chapter 24 verse 17. The Bible makes it understand that makes us understand that Jesus was the star, the scepter shall rise out of Israel. The star out of Jacob. The Bible was, was trying to tell liken soul winners to the stars in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 that they that be wise shall shine like the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever when jesus was born the bible said there were certain men who were astrologers who are astrologers astrologers are those who study the stars the moon and by reason of the stars and the moon they can predict what will happen on the earth do you understand that they use the stars and the moon to predict what will happen on earth so they study the stars the Bible says in Matthew chapter 2, these men came and they said, we have seen Jesus. Matthew chapter 2 verse 2, we have seen a star in the east. Matthew 2, 2, Matthew 2, 7, Matthew 2, 9. Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star. So what is your star? Your star is what reveals what you will become. The star of Jesus they saw was a revelation of him becoming the king of the Jews. Your star is your future, is your identity, is the unveiling of your destiny. So when you see a man's star, by his star, you can tell what it turns out to be. Never assess or intend, never intend to assess a future you are not prepared for. I was talking to one of my sons yesterday on the phone. I was advising him. He was about to go into a venture. He was so angry. I would do that. I said, come. This thing you're about to, you know, break church, do this, do that one, expand to prove to the occultic people that God is with you. I said, I understand you're angry. I said, but you see, I've, seen, I've sat down in life and I've thought about many things and I'm seeing life more than you. You see, I told him, I said, Percy, where once I'm assault, you go first check you in one land. <laughs> Because there is a way. <laughs> this is 33 years I've been holding microphone. So if I talk to you, listen. When you want, tumble, back dive. They call it flip. You first check. Do you understand what I'm saying? I say, so calm down, relax, relax, relax. You don't rush to lick hot soup. You calm plan check the app effect this is likely to happen that is likely to happen prepare for it prepare for backlash before you take care of this step prepare for backlash prepare and secure then you take a move if you don't have the capacity for the backlash don't even take the move are you following me don't even take the move you have to be prepared for it you have to be properly prepared for it because there will be any reactions and the reaction will come when you least expect so you have to be prepared hello so the stars whatever happens to a man is determined by the functionality of a star your star reveals your glory first corinthians 15 41 your star, there's the glory of the star, the glory of the moon. He said, but each star differs in glory. There's one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. One star different from another in glory. There are different kinds of stars. There are shooting stars. Boom. Those are the ones you just see from nowhere. Boom. There are people that have such stars. Shooting stars. Boom. 
you never heard of them before all of a sudden phew, shooting stars shooting stars i'm telling you about warfare concerning your star but i have to explain your what the star is so that when we begin to connect it to prayer you have a proper understanding there are twinkling stars very inconsistent they twinkle they twinkle they are not doing bad they are not doing good just on the average realm there are shining stars they shine in the midst of darkness there are falling stars there are superstars superstars and there is one who called the day star first peter 1 19 the day star and also there are wandering stars james chapter 1 jude chapter 1 verse 13 wandering stars are people who are inconsistent whose life is full of shame james 1 13 their life is full of shame they are called wandering stars your star reveals your destination your star reveals your assignment your star unveils your assignment your accomplishment so the star of jesus was that he was born to be what to be what king they said who where is he that was born king of the Jews? for we have seen his star so by star we can now define what is born to be so when your star is revealed i told you the story of a woman who gave birth to a child and she was nursing the child she couldn't leave the child for one minute because the child was crying all of a sudden a friend of hers came less than two minutes another friend came she said oh, thank god you poor too can you look after the baby let me just rush and shower so one of them carried the child the other was cuddling the child she ran to the bathroom the next thing they were fighting the child was crying they were fighting themselves what's going on not fully done she ran out what's happening now he said can you imagine can you imagine this child has seven stars she took five and gave me only two the woman said star five two he said at least she can take four and give me three the mother said wait now wait we star he said this child now we saw the star is seven she took five she gave me two my child say yes she just went and locked the door say today people will die here you collect we star from who there are there are there are enemies of the star there are star hunters in warfare one of the things you must do is to handle star hunters they are soothsayers they are magicians, they are sorcerers. One of the things Daniel had to deal with in his day was astrologers. Daniel was confronted with them. Daniel chapter 4 verse 3. Daniel chapter 5 verse 7. Daniel was confronted with astrologers. Daniel 1 verse 20. Daniel 2 verse 27. Daniel was confronted with astrologers. These are men that study the star by reason of what they now how many of you this has happened to you before let's get practical how many of you have walked on the road you are walking on the road you have seen somebody stop you they look at you and they start telling you about your life has it happened to anybody here and whatever they'll tell you is accurate huh they'll tell you things they'll tell you things you're like what they are not pastors oh. you know what they are those are astrologers they can look at your palm and they'll look up to start talking they are not walking by the spirit of god it is their father the devil who caused your problem that is revealing it to them the problem you're going through is their father the devil and when it's time for solution they start telling you strange things when you get back carry rain water the first this one that comes are you have you had things like that that's where you now know that this one is not of God. So they will talk to you accurately. You can go to some places, they will tell you everything about yourself. You say, What? When it's time for solution. Am I communicating? When it's time for solution, prescription for solution, that is when you know that these ones have no connection to God. Sorcerers. 
one of the things Paul had to deal with in Acts chapter 19, the Bible says Paul had to deal with sorcerers. He was casting out devils. Then one man who has a son called Skeva. Sorry, one man called Skeva. He had seven sons. I told you the story that this man, the Bible says one Skeva. The seven sons will look at Paul. Paul was casting out devils. Their father was a sorcerer. They were not connected to anything. No Satan, no God. There are people that live themselves like that. I don't put, I don't put my for anything. My mind clean. You are a joker. Say me as you see so. My mind clean. I don't, I don't wish people evil. I don't think bad of anybody. Okay. Now this man, they look at what Paul was doing. Paul was casting out devils. Casting out devils. Casting out demons from people. They say, ah, we are going to try this thing. Now, if you want to try, why not try with fever? Why not try with leg pain? They wanted to experiment. Jesus is Lord. And they decided it's like somebody who wants to, you know, start life. When you want to start, um, you want to start English. That's what they call premier. Right? They give you premier. Queen premier. They didn't start from there. They wanted to rehearse. They went to carry a madman. What a wrong practical. The Bible said this man was mad. And if that was all, it would have been good. They would have prayed for him on the street. No. They carried him into a house. That was even understandable. They locked the door. Now, now, you see, that, that madman was just an agent of the devil. When they were carrying him, he didn't react. <laughs> when they carried him to the house, he didn't react. He waited for them to lock the door. <laughs> when they locked the door, the Bible says, and the man in whom the evil spirit was, Leaped, go to verse go to verse 15 go to verse 15 go to verse 14 okay go to verse 13 something i'm looking for and certain vagabond jews exhausted took upon themselves to call over them which had evil spirit in the name of jesus they took upon themselves it was a profession and we see that happen today. When somebody fails in certain area of life, he will say, I think God is calling me. Say, I think the reason I'm not doing well is because I have not answered the call. I've been running from God. Run? When God called us, we are not allowed to run. These days, people say, I've been running from God. Run? If God really calls you, where can you run to? No, in trying to run from God, you are running to God. In trying to run from God, you're actually running to God. When Jonah was trying to run from God, he didn't know he was running to God. As Jonah was thrown from the boat, there was a whale with his mouth open. So it's either you go God's way or you enter God's will. <laughs> there is God's way and there is God's will. But that was still God at work. You know what God did? The people of Nineveh, they worship the marine god. They go to the river every time and they worship the river. They bow to their gods. Jonah thought he was running from God, but he was actually running to God. So, the, the fish swallowed Jonah. For three days, Jonah was inside the belly of the fish. That was a type of Christ that will be buried in the belly of the earth for three days and he will come out. So, Jesus was in the, um, Jonah was in the belly of the fish and the people of Nineveh, went to the, the river and they were worshipping their God all of a sudden the fish came out opened his mouth and brought out as soon as Jonah came out they started worshipping Jonah worshipping Jonah God knew that was the only way to get the attention of the people of Nineveh so he had to make sure it was a fish not a cow he had to make sure it was a fish not a snake so the fish swallowed Jonah as soon as he opened his mouth Jonah walked out and said repent they said we hear you we hear you they thought it was their God who had sent a message to them not knowing it was the most high thinking
you are running from God, you are running to God. You are running to God. You can't run from God. You can't run from God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Let me tell you something about how these people operate. Star hunters, they know and can read your stars. Stop all this, bra this bragging. My child of God, nothing can happen to you. Listen, I know you are protected, but be wise. I know you are secured, but don't take chances. They can read your star. They read. Are you, are you more anointed than Jesus? Your, your, your physical imagination was the copulation of a man and a woman. Jesus, there was no copulation of a man. He was 100% man, 100% God. They read the star. Where is he that is born the king of the Jew? We have seen his star. So no matter who you are, they can read it. They defined it. And also, they, read, they saw the star from the east. Far away from him. So they can even sight a star from afar. It can be spotted. Somebody can be in America, in London, and from there can tell you what you are saying. So distance is not a problem to star hunters. Which are getting something. Star can be stolen. Stars can be stolen. Stars can be weakened. Stars can be weakened. Like the star of Joseph, it was weakened because he was talking too much. The things he didn't even understand about himself, he was talking about it. So they were weakening the star. They made sure he landed in the, in the, in the pit. Later he landed in the pit. That was a weakened star until God showed up for him. Stars can be weakened. And that's the generation we are living in now. It's not every revelation that you must share. There are some things God will show you. How can what God show you, you don't understand it? You expect somebody else to understand it. Can you imagine somebody will tell you a revelation, tell you and tell you and tell you, say, this revelation, I just see so. I dream. I climb up. Maybe six. One, four. Two, stand. I come the four. I come up. I come up with my eye. Wait in me. <laughs> what does it mean? So one day somebody was telling me a dream he had in the office. 14 minutes. In the dream, he slept and dreamt. How can somebody dream in a dream? He said he slept in the dream. He now went somewhere. He now went in. I was just looking at him. He explained the dream. I said, one night. He said, Papa, calm down, calm down. When he thought, 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 he finished. He said, what does it mean? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> this one is fever. You have fever. All your dreams don't make sense. Dream of Philly Station. You buy fuel. You now enter the car. You continue on the journey again. You know, so I said, you have fever. I'm, you're, you're, I'm having a headache. There are things God tells you until you have a proper understanding of it. Don't voice it. Because God can show you something in sequence. He can show you now. Don't be in a hurry to share it. Keep praying. He can show you again tomorrow. And sometime after three, four, five days before you are able to put all of them together to understand what God is actually saying. And this is the problem we have. You see, God can show you today what he wants to do in your life in 20 years time but he will show you today as if it's tomorrow so if you're not careful that's why some people have run to become pastors some have run to start businesses run to do things and they spend 10 years of their life in the wilderness and they start binding demons binding. no the problem you have was not demons you were premature How many of you know that if you carry a day old chick, you know, chick, a little um, chicken, a day old chick, you carry it and you start speaking in tongue, grow, grow, grow by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, grow by the grace 
I'm under, grow. It's not going to grow because that is not the process. So when people are not yet matured, everybody's in a hurry to do some business, hurry to enter, start a project, hurry to do one or two things, and you're not even cut out and mature yet for it. The hair, so long as a child, does not differ from a servant. Galatians 4 verse 1. Although he's Lord of all, stays that two tutors and teachers at the time are appointed of the Father. Amen? Star can be diverted. Star can be diverted. Okay. Let me say this. This ministry believes in deliverance. A child's placenta or what they call umbilical cord can be used to control his destiny. Where was yours buried? Who dedicated you when you were born? There are some of you as grown as you are not till now you have not been dead. We will carry you. <laughs> Today we are going to carry you. After this service I will tell ushers they will carry you. We will wrap you inside one wrapper. <laughs> I will dedicate you. <laughs> some have not been dedicated even now. They were never dedicated. What is the meaning of your name? If your name doesn't make sense, change it. There's a name that doesn't make sense. And there's some of us who just pick some names because they sound nice. Anastasia. Anastasia. If you know what anesthetics mean, you understand. Some people just pick some names because they sound nice. So you've got to have, your name needs to have meaning. Once it sounds stupid, or it doesn't have a good meaning, no, drop it. Hello? A star can be stolen. There are areas someone's hair can be used to divert the star. And that's why I told people there are four major areas you have concentrated demons. I'm sorry, not all of them, but majorly. Number one, markets. If God opens your eyes in the spirit, you'll see the witchcraft, trans that the witchcraft transaction going in the market. Number two, saloons. That's why wise people are spiritual. Will go with their own comb. Go with their own stuff. Finish, give it to them. Don't take it and start cleaning. In this church, I've picked out somebody by prophecy who the Lord said he has a barbing salon where they shave their hair and he used the he gathers people's hair and takes to the you remember that? And the young man walked out. Number three, maternities. When your wife is in labor about to give birth as a man, you need to begin to pray. All of these things are not things to make you afraid. They are just things to make you aware. Don't be deceived. Where's the person? No, no. You know they kill him. Now they kill him. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What, what somebody does not know will not kill the person. That's what kills the person. If you knew it, it won't kill you. They are destroyed. There are things we've seen. A pastor, I'll show you, a pastor and the wife, they were having lots of issues. The pastor's life was, you know, zigzag. So the wife was confused. All of us were able to, me, I was super confused. Prayed for him, he has a ministry. Ministry will start, it will close. Today we we'll get, just get angry, we we'll tell the wife to go. After a while, okay, come back. His life was just disorderly. There were so many issues which I can't even get into. One day I got so interested. I told him, I said, be on your way, I want to see you. That day I was so interested. It's when he came, I was in Benin, then he came. I said, let's go somewhere. We drove to a pastor's office. I told the pastor to excuse us. I locked the door. I told him, remove your shirt. He said, sir, I said, remove your shirt. I pulled up my shoes, took off my stockings. I said, give me your hand. We started praying. We started praying. More than 30 minutes, going to 45 minutes, going to an hour, we are praying. I said, until God show me what your problem is today. Both of us will not leave this office. I said, because this is your life. It's a mockery to me. 
we started 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I was getting. I felt the presence of God. And the Lord said, I should see that I sat down. The Lord opened my eyes. I saw that when he was born, the person that did, you know they call on Mugo, was the grandmother. The grandmother was actually the one they gave the umbilical cord to go and bury. And the Lord showed me, while I was praying, I saw a woman. While I sat there, I saw a woman open a black bulletin bag and brought out things inside. I didn't see what was inside. And she put them in the fire, in the pot, and was cooking them. So I didn't understand. So I asked him a question, where's your mom? He said, the mom is in Bielsa. He talked, talked, talked. I said, okay, can I talk to her? He called. The mom was not too fine. I prayed. I said, mommy, do you remember? He said, yeah, he don't tell. He don't tell. He don't tell. He don't tell. After a while, she stopped that she was going to call us back. She called us. She didn't see, talk to the grandmother because that one had passed out. She spoke to that one's younger sister who told her what that one did. What was the story? When she called back, the mother was crying. And the mother said that that one said she was in the house. The grandmother brought something, the polythene bag. The day the child was born, he boiled the, the thing she brought and ate it. So I said, here! Yeah! I got it. I told him, I said, wear your shirt. He started crying. I said, no, it's finished. What is revealed is redeemed. We began to renounce. I heard him say, say this after me. Say this after me. Say this after me. Say this after me. He was saying it. Boom! That was an open destiny. Life turned around. Today is sick. Tomorrow is well. Everything about him was, was upside down. But life changed. Because that thing that was... I told you I was praying for a lady. I said, come out. She came out. I said, the Lord said the dog is dead. You may have heard me give that testimony. The dog is dead. I didn't know what I was saying. Me, I didn't know. But I just know I heard the dog is dead. She said, the dog is dead. She said, hey, amen. I said, the dog is dead. Amen. You know, there's some things I'll say. I'm going to the altar. I say, wait till, wait till, wait till be this now. What have I said? What have I even said? So I said that. She got a visit on Monday after the service. She got a visit. Grandmother came and began to apologize to her. The herbalist also came with her and was apologizing. What was the apology? When the girl was born, they projected her stars into a dog. Now, that dog grew to like five, six years. They bought another one, transferred. That girl, beautiful girl, but once people start talking about marriage, she's not interested. She starts sleeping with their friends. What was in her? A dog was projected into her and she was projected to the dog. She had lost relationship because something just comes on her to be promiscuous. And that was what God saw that night and said, the dog is dead. But it happened at infancy. So, there are so many people today. Are you ready to pray? There are so many people whose life have been tempered with stars can be exchanged. First Kings chapter 3. There were two men that are children. The Bible says one of them slept on a child and the child died. Oversleep can kill your dream. Oversleep. There are people that sleep so much till, they, till something dies. Sleep, 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 sleep. You sleep so much. In the night, you will sleep. Early morning, you have early morning sleep. Then you have afternoon, you call that one siesta. Your mates are seen Angel Gabriel, you are seen Esther. You are seen Esther. Others are seen Angel Gabriel, others are seen Angel Michael, you are seen Esther. She said, No, 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 Papa, no. I don't joke with my money sleep. Papa tell somebody to be praying around three that time when sleep they sweet. There are people that there is there is there is a spirit of sleep. That's on their life. They can stand and sleep. They can stand and while they are standing, they are gone. Some can sleep with their eyes open. <laughs> They are sleeping, get to the room, carry them from a story building in their sleep and rush them outside from a story building, release them. They will land on the ground. Hey! Mm. <laughs> it's that bad. 
Lighten my eyes, Lord. Psalm 13, verse 3. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. There are some sleep that leads to death. You got to pray. Am I talking to someone here? When the star is tempered with destiny, number one, destiny is swapped. Destiny is swapped. When destiny is swapped, I'm talking of a spoke of star hunters. What do they do? They temper with your star. And when the star is tempered with destiny, is swapped. Destiny is swapped. What does it mean for destiny to be swapped? A person begins to serve what was created or who was created to serve him. Destiny is swapped. Let me show you, let me show you something. Let me surprise you. Peter was not originally supposed to be the head of the church. In fact, after Jesus died, it was James, the brother of Jesus, that took over from Peter. But while Jesus was around, Peter was like the boss, the deputy to Jesus. That was not the original plan. The original plan was to be Judas. Are you listening? Because then in Israel, when a man dies, it is his brother that raises seed for him. Jesus and Judas were first cousins. That's one of the reasons Jesus entrusted the cash to Judas. Can I say this to you? You don't give money to be kept by a man you don't trust. There must be trust before you entrust. So Judas had messed up. That's why Jesus came out and threw it open. Who do men say I am? Anybody who gets this today becomes the rock. So there was nothing like, oh, it was Peter. Of all people, Peter was not so. Peter was the least qualified because Peter, he talked before he think. Peter will finish talking before he think. Jesus said, um, Lazarus is sick. After Jesus said, Lazarus is dead. Peter said, let's go and die with him. Does that make sense? <laughs> let's go and die with him. I mean, it doesn't. I think Peter's mouth was, and he can lie. Peter lied, cock crow. Peter lied to a point, even animals reacted. He said, I don't know him. I've never met him. Peter started swearing. That if he has ever seen Jesus, let Moto jam him on the spot. Cock said, Kukuruku. <laughs> All right. I'm wasting your time. Destiny swapped. When the star is tempered with, there is endless struggle. That's when people keep hoping and hoping to old age. Hoping and hoping and hoping and hoping it go better. It will be good. Someday it will be good. Someday it will be good. To old age. They are still hoping. That shall not be your portion. I don't like your amen. That shall not be your portion. 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 Endless struggles. There are people that struggle endlessly. You know, there's something I'm looking for. There's something I wrote down. Oh, maybe I'll, it will come before the end of the service. There are people that struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle till death. They start telling you about their dreams. All their dreams. That's why it's now. Ecclesiastes 12 1 says, Remember now your creator in the days of your youth. Don't wait. Do it now. Do it now. The word man, the word man is a breakdown of seasons. The word man is a breakdown of season. M A N. M means morning. A means afternoon. N means night. So as a man, you are connected to times and seasons. So you cannot waste time. You cannot joke around. You don't look for a black goat at night. If you want to see a black, you want to find a black goat, you look for it in the day. Because when it gets dark, the darkness and the color of the goat are of the same semblance. Everything you must do, do it now. Do it now. 
there are people that struggle and struggle and struggle no, nothing changes I decree if your star has been tempered and you are struggling endlessly that power is broken when a star is tempered with there is contradiction take your seat I will round up now I'm taking your time there is contradiction that was what happened in the life of Jabez. Jabez, First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10, was more honorable than his brethren. But his mother called his name Jabez. The mother tempered with him. Was more honorable than his brethren. But the mother called his name Jabez, saying, I bear him in sorrow. I bear him in sorrow. There are people with degrees. Have you seen people with very educated? Sometimes when I see people who, who are very educated and poor, it becomes a mockery on education. Someone is about to board a bike and he's a professor. He's speaking English. Okada, can you take me from one end to another end? He said, how are we going? Okay, when I bought your bike now, we are going to navigate to the left then we're going to navigate to the right then there is a turn to the left and it's adjacent good English phonetic good part of diction master the schemes of public speaking stranded 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 beautiful lady single not just single rejected i've seen people some children walk to me and say that look at me no man ask me out and me i'm confused you like this nobody no sir the men are not seeing what she carries you think it's by degree it's by looks you think it's by looks honey i was telling the young man i said if it is bears that give wisdom goats would have been prophet <laughs> Wait. <laughs> have you seen every goat is bearded you see a goat with long beards full full with all the beards the goat is the goat. <laughs> if it's beards that give wisdom a goat will be a prophet you will know tomorrow know next year know everything with all the decrees you think that's what there are people today you look at them they don't look outstanding as it were but they get married with all the terrible character they get married and there are some it's not by power not by might something tempered with something something tempered with something you know as i'm talking right now you know that this thing the way your life is going is not normal something inside you knows that's why you will pray today something inside you knows that something is wrong somewhere a young girl in London told me, he said she had gotten four um, proposers and the four of them are deformed people. He said that somebody, I'm not mocking, please don't get me wrong, I'm not mocking anybody. And that somebody will come to her like that. He said one day somebody stopped her, she came down from the vehicle and she was about to pick something. Somebody stopped her, she came, so the guy was coming. Wait! Look at her. <laughs> I just saw you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I like you. <laughs> she didn't know what to say. Now, I'm not mocking anybody. But she said, one, two, three. There must be a physical deformity. So I said to her, it's not a coincidence. There is something that you are attracting that is incomplete. Are you listening to what I'm saying? There's something that's incomplete. A pastor was preaching in a church in Benin. On the altar, he ran mad. Altar. He started talking out of when talking. You know, initially, remember, I say, Amen, Amen from Amen. They were looking at him. Uh -uh. And the, the, the annoying protocols. 
that should have bundled pastor from Mortal. They thought he was in the spirit. They're looking at him. The man dropped mic. Somebody they should approve and carry on the head and tell people, be praying, be praying, be praying. <laughs> the man come more cloth. Ah, the need was serious. They kept him in chain. When I was praying for him, by the spirit of God, I could see into his mother's family. The mom died mad. The one following the mom died mad. As we were talking, the only uncle from the mom's, the, the mother's side was mad. And I said, what is wrong with this boy? Why would you climb the altar when you have not handled where you are coming from? Let me say this to you. Sit down. There are some things in my life that I knew I never preached them until two years ago, three years ago. I had to handle them in my family. Then in my family, traveling abroad was not where yeah, you only go to Mecca. No, if Mecca, if you go like this, visa is once. The only auntie I have that went to France had stroke. So when I fasted and prayed, I went to the embassy. They didn't give me a visa. I thought it was natural. Until I decided to do an X-ray in my family. Ah. Only Mecca. You see a small boy, allergy. Small boy, allergy. This one, allergy. If it's Mecca, you go straight. Safe trip. But say London, America. No. So I knew something was wrong. I began to break. I began to break. I began to break. I began to break. I'm telling you true life stories. I began to break. I began to break. I began to break. The first time I went for a UK visa, the woman did not even check my document. So passport, Johnson Suleiman. Mm, suicide bomber. Suicide bomber. Suicide. I said, my, my they said, no, no, I don't need to see that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can. When I got there speaking in tongues, oh, I got there speaking in tongues. When I left there, I said, what is happening? With, ah, what's going on? When I sat down, look at your life. What is happening now is not strange. You can see traces. Look at your maternal family, your paternal family. You can see traces. A star has been tempered with. Something has been affected. Contradiction. It was created to carry glory. It's like the man in Acts chapter 3 that was at the gate of beautiful. His life was not beautiful. When, when your star is tempered, the spirit of contradiction and controversy, Isaiah 34 verse 8, you know, when the spirit of controversy hits a man, there are people, how many of you know that there are people that walk up to you and they will tell you to borrow them money. They will tell you to loan them money. They will mention an amount. You are confused. You are wondering how they see you. You can't even say you don't have. When you say you don't have, they get angry. Say you have, you don't want to help me. You know why? You look like money. It's a destiny. But how come there is no money? There are people, any cloth you give them to wear, say, help me test this thing. Once they wear it, it looks like their own. Say, ah, like saying, I'm me, they this cloth for. Say, hey, yeah, it fits you. Pull up, pull up. You look like it. It's God. That, God has seen that there are so many generations tied to your loins. But there is a power listen you are pregnant with the future and nothing can stop your delivery everyone under the sound of my voice everything God has said you will be you will become it I say 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 you will become it be upstanding be upstanding be upstanding you want to assess your star be born again number one be born again you must be born again you must be born again number two your eyes must be open number one you must be born again what does it mean to be born again to be born again is not to confess your sin is to confess Christ confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior Romans 10 10 with the heart man believer to righteousness with the mouth confession is made unto salvation being born again is about Jesus confessing Jesus when you, when you start confessing your sin you cannot stop confessing 
when you confess Jesus he comes in and takes away your sins and the Bible says that but you must have open eyes that's what I said your eyes must be open Ecclesiastes 6 verse 9 better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the desire Psalm 34 verse 5 they look up to him and their faces were lighting and they were not ashamed Psalm 119 verse 18 open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law your eyes must be open to get that you must be wise you must pray for the spirit of wisdom James 1 5 does anyone lack wisdom let him ask of God who giveth liberally wisdom to know when to cut off from certain people wisdom to know when to cut off from certain places wisdom to know when to speak when to be quiet it's not every question you must answer are you listening it's not every question you must answer it's not every one you must sit down with 30 friends will not be friends in 30 years destiny will separate them choices will separate them you are, you, are, you are responsible for the choices you make the choices you make today will make you tomorrow be wise Jesus the son of the living God Joseph at infancy I'm talking of Messiah I'm talking of divinity at infancy they, they withdrew him from the scene at infancy why because he was vulnerable there are times to hide there are times to disappear. People will not know you are around. Lock your door. Stay indoors. Turn off your phone. Let it appear like you traveled. Ah, you come and say, where have you been? I just did. Ah, where did you go? I'm just fine. By the time the person is insisting, you have spotted one enemy. You have just spotted one. Be wise. Then you need to be you need to be intimate with the holy spirit because your intimacy with the holy spirit is what helps you to be abreast of the th of the things of the kingdom then you must ask for restoration in case it has been tampered with are you blessed today are you blessed today we are going to pray today we are going to pray anyone who star is warfare now star has been diverted weakened exchange stolen be restored anyway my star has been diverted weakened stolen be restored be restored be restored your emancipation is the emancipation of a generation say my father my father in the name of jesus as i pray anyway my star has been stolen weakened diverted be restored be restored be restored be restored open your mouth and turn into prayer Rata <laughs> 
Jesus, answer us by fire. Answer us by fire, Lord. Rakoso koto koto sh. Rakayanash. Answer us by fire. As time must shine. As time must shine. As time must shine. Let 
Restore, 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 restore. Be restored. <laughs> Rotos, 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 Paracoso Santa Capaladas. Blessed Coprodos. Procoso Procotos. Bracato Cotos. Resta. Rocoso Procadeshaga. In Jesus name I profess upon you Speaking to Your life I date it back to your infancy from your birth. Any fortune, well being, greatness, and glory that was tempered with, stolen, snatched, weakened, diverted, corrupted, remade today in its original form, the original intention of your creator. It is restored to you. Hey! I decree a restoration of your glory, a full manifestation of your star. You will shine. I connect this same emancipation to your siblings to your children to your generation you become a peace setter in the name of Jesus I decree great grace upon you great grace upon you you will be that person in the family that will rise beyond expectation I use you to reach your mother's children I decree that whatever has tampered with their lifting today that power is crippled the intention of God for your life will be fulfilled to the fullest from now take charge take control dominate 
subdue in Jesus mighty name clap your hands for Jesus shout my time has come somebody shout my time has come I can't hear you my time has come on Friday morning